So let's go work out. So you make it in your own bottle. <laughs> oh my god. So I am sitting and um, transferring all the pictures from that camera to my computer. So when I went to San, uh, San Francisco, I used this camera and then uh, for some reason there was no space in the camera and I was like, that's impossible because I transferred all the pictures already or videos. So so in my head, I was like, okay, well, I transferred them, but I just didn't delete them on the camera. So I started deleting videos on my camera and then realized that I have nothing from Cancun. Like the only thing I have from Cancun is my vlog about Cancun on my YouTube channel. I don't have it. Like, I don't have anything of that anywhere, which is heartbreaking. <laughs> I am actually going to go get something right now that I will show in a little bit. Um, it's a purchase that I did for my 30th birthday. It's a big girl's present, so I'm gonna go pick it up right now, and I'm so excited to share with you. I haven't um, used my blender yet. Um, so I'm think I think I'm gonna do a little a little protein shake or something just to like get my day going. So let's see here. We have almond milk, banana, strawberries, <coughs> protein, hemp powder, and leaves, green leaves. It's like okay, so I um I put like this much milk. I think I'm gonna need more, but I have more milk. Four strawberries, half a banana. A handful of green leaves and I forgot that I have this. I have chia seeds, I have spirulina and then almonds. So I'm gonna try to put that in as well. Eee, let's do it. Ooh, that's so easy. Ta da! Put the lid on. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, I put like the tip of the spirulina, I can still feel it. It's just so overpowering. Um, but this is really good. Mmm. This is the best idea ever. Oh. So you make it in your own bottle. <laughs> Alright. We just got to Mission Valley. This is where I'm gonna pick up my gift to myself. <laughs> I'm so excited. What did I get? <laughs> Alright. So I always wanted to get myself something uh, for my 30th. I was I was thinking like um, either a another Louis Vuitton bag or but like the Neverfull or diamond earrings. So um, <laughs> I got diamond earrings. I already got them like two three weeks ago, but I didn't like announce it because I didn't have them physically. So basically what I did was to um, send them repaired so they could screw on this little thing in the back because um, knowing myself, I'm very, um, I don't know, I'm very messy with my stuff and I always lose stuff and don't take care of my things. So I was like, I'm not gonna, you know, pay this amount of money for a diamond rings, I mean diamond earrings, um, and then lose them. So, so I got these done here in the back so it's like screw on. So um, they're not gonna fall out or anything. So, um, but that is that. That's I'm so excited. <laughs> I lived here for like four years, and it's so pretty. It's beautiful, but it's also very like college town kind of. Well, it's not a college town, but it's like uh, it's a very young crowd. And you know, since I'm getting older, <laughs> it's like not not where I would um, hang out anymore. And it's not even about like, uh, it's not even about like them being young. It's just like I can't deal with like, people that wear caps and like flip flops. That is just not fashionably acceptable in my world. <laughs> this is where I used to walk before, and then I used to like and stand here and look at the surfers. Oh my god, I used to go here when I was like running. <laughs> the only reason I said that is for the fun. Oh like my god, look, it's so man. pretty. <laughs> oh my god, I do miss this. This is so pretty. Oh my god, this is what I used to do every single, not day, but like at least like three times a week. Isn't that peaceful? And then I would like watch these surfers. 
how pretty is this? This is Pacific Beach or PB. Isn't that so romantic? There's a couple there. Oh, look, this is like the perfect shoot right there. A couple and the sunset. And some surfers. Oh my god, this is not a good view. I just took like the biggest nap. It's Sunday right now. Sunday evening. Let's see, it's 5.43 and I took the longest nap because I'm actually... Okay, so this is what happened this morning. Let me show you. And you would only know what I'm talking about if you grew up or if you have some sort of like Latin American knowledge of their music or whatever. So this is what went on. So my director of sales and marketing where I work texted me this morning with this. I was like eating brunch, having brunch with bottomless mimosas with my friend and this is what I get. Oh my god and look at my phone it's all broken. <laughs> like shadow my phone. Alright it says hey Natalia would you like to go to Ricardo Arjona concert tonight? Yes. I mean, the man is so handsome. Okay, so we just got here. The tickets. And it's San Diego State, so this is where I went to college. So good memories. Good memories. Frat row over there. Oh, yeah. Porque el mojado precisa comprobar con visas que no esté en tu no. So I just came home from work. It was such a crazy busy day. It's so funny, like some days you expect it to be busy and my Mondays and Fridays are usually, they are busy, but. So I got finally this third book of Kimberly Snyder. She is the queen of detoxing. And I know that it's kind of a con like detoxing is such a concept that get thrown out there a lot but it's it's really not about like losing weight or like being skinny it's just like the result of it i feel like but it's more like if you really think about the word it's detox and tox comes from toxins basically so you're detoxing your body releasing um eliminating toxins and what else oh yeah and then i got this so I remember I talked about this in my Birchbox, um, Birchbox blog. So I got the full size. Oops. The Vasanti. This is like really, you need this in your life. This is vegan. It's like, doesn't have any of those bad things. Like I don't break out with that. And it's like really making my skin so much better. Not only this, obviously, I have like this whole like facial routine, which is something that I actually want to vlog about because I feel like this routine that I have right now, which has have taken me years and years of just like researching and all that. Um, I think that I got it down to the perfect routine, but um, I kind of want to take more pictures of the evolution of my skin because there's some really horrible pictures of my skin that I will show and I and I'm almost like a little embarrassed about it, about like showing it and doing this vlog because my skin without makeup can be pretty pretty scary. So, oh, I got these really nice um what do you call these? headphones that are bluetooth. So see? It's just like a string basically. 
and then it goes uh, via Bluetooth to your phone. So you just like connect it here. I got it as a Christmas gift from my boss. Isn't this cool? So let's go work out. Yes. Oh my God. I just came back from the gym and I'm just so excited to read this book. I know I'm like so like childish about it, but like I can't wait to read this book. I haven't even showered. I just came up and immediately just wanted to see this book because I actually did not even check out what it was about. I mean, obviously I know like the concept, but um, I don't want to get like so like emotional about it, but I just feel like with my 30th birthday, um, and it's kind of like it's, you know, it's expected to be like that. It's expected to be, you know, you're 30, you're not like young anymore. So you have to like, question things and I definitely am questioning myself a lot like did I do everything that I wanted to do in my 20s is this what I saw myself like is this how I wanted to be is this the person that I wanted to be when I was 20 just moving here for example or like being away from my family has that like affected me as a person there's so many questions and I feel like at this point, I think I should have resolved everything and like, you know, becoming an adult and be like, okay, I know where I am and this is what I want to do now. But if anything, I feel like as I turn 30, I feel like I just become much more confused. This is cool that she's including meditation as well. So I'm actually so excited about this because this is more about like body, mind, and soul, like more like the yogi concept. But oh, I'm just so excited about this book. I can't like, I'm gonna like shower and go to bed and read this book. Yes. This is happening right now. I have, um, I never wash my car because I mean, I don't really use my car a lot. I live downtown. So I'm trying a car wash, like an actual car wash. And this is the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> I got some help here. A gentleman is helping me. I, I probably look like a woman that don't know what he, what she's doing, which is right. All right, the green light. Let's do this. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna like freak out. <laughs> Why is it not saying red? Hello. Ah! Oh my god, it's gonna start raining on me. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's raining. Oh my god. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. See? You can text, you can do whatever you want, and the car is getting like washed. I can't believe I've never done this before. It's like so cheap. Uh, I bought uh, this was like eight dollars, and uh, yeah, this is cool. And I don't have to do anything. I, uh, this is coming on me now. Oh my god, it's like a freaking show. Getting a little dizzy. Like there whoa. Okay, it's saying I can go. I guess I'm gonna go. Okay. Drive. Oh. <gasps> Holy cow. Am I done? I don't get it. Oh, it's drying it. I will definitely do that more often. For sure. Okay, cool. That took you like three minutes. And I'm right right around the corner of uh, my apartment, so can't be that. <laughs> 